What is going on guys? Today we are talking a bit more about that Ranger reveal we saw the other day and really going through my thoughts on it and what I want to see from it in the future and all of that. Like kind of like I did with the melee weapon combat. So starting off, overall, I'm very happy with what Intrepid showed us for the Ranger reveal. I feel like the movement feels right. There's some weight on the abilities and the bow. So like when you pull the bow back, like it feels like you're in a sense, you're shooting the bow. Like you have the screen shakes and the knockbacks and those sort of effects that really make the bow feel like part of the character with the animations. The three abilities we got to see were also pretty cool as well. I know I've done a few videos on the Rangers and their abilities, so it's nice to see some new ones and not just what we've known for a long time in the alpha zero testing so that's pretty nice to see and it seems like the community overall is really happy with it i'm really glad we got to see some action combat and tab targeting side of things because that was much needed especially after the melee weapon combat preview where we couldn't really tell the difference and I'm glad we got to see some UI as well to really help with this. Although from what we saw with abilities, they were the same between both stances. They didn't really change, which I mean, maybe slightly, but like the whole point of action and tab is you're supposed to pick one and the abilities are gonna be altered based on action or tab targeting. Like maybe one ability that was an auto aim is all of a sudden you gotta place it on the ground and things like that. There is the aim with the Radical when you're in action mode where you can aim the bow and arrow and shoot arrows at people and you can just shoot arrows off randomly throughout the world not fighting anyone for fun what I really want to know is what intrepid is going to do to make people favor action over tab because as you saw you could aim the arrows or you could just have it automatically shoot arrows at your target so like why would you pick aim if you could automatically hit your target over time is there going to be like hit point bonuses on the body so tab targeting attacks aren't going to give you head shots but if you aim for the head it's going to deal more damage will action combat give you a larger range over tab targeting where you can be further back and attack the target from more of a distance like i want to know what the buffs and the perks of action combat are going to be because right now again you would just lean towards the tab people play these games competitively when you're in a pvp game like this you're going to do what is best as a player for you to win and at that moment when there are players running around on the field and you are are aiming and can't quite hit the shot you're just gonna stick with tab targeting because it's automatically gonna hit the shot for you one of my favorite things about this compared to the melee combat which i said in another video is they have really toned down the visual effects in a sense for this video that was a huge complaint of mine for the melee combat basic weapon attack is you just see these sword swains you'd see all sorts of glows and sparkles and all this other stuff that isn't needed like in a minimal approach yes it's nice to be able to visually see your impacts and your swings of the sword but not to that extent Whereas for the ranged combat, if you notice, there is no visual effects when you're shooting the bow and arrow besides like, you know, the animations of you drawing the arrow back and shooting it. Some of the abilities have visual effects, which makes more sense than just a regular attack, such as the snipe, which has a glowing green as you charge it up, which is a cool kind of, all right, this is charging and it gives you a little visual cues of when the charge is complete. Uh, even quick shot didn't have any visual attack, at least not yet. Again, these could change. We could get more visuals because you know it's not done yet but i hope not even the airstrike ability was a very not overkill visual effects deal when you kind of jump over the guy and shoot the things on the ground it was very toned back compared to what we've seen in all of alpha one and even the melee weapon combat which is very nice to see so we saw the long bow and the short bow and the short bow is more faster attacks less damage whereas the long bow you can charge up the the draw of the bow and hold it for longer and deal more damage so i want to know which i'm sure we'll find out down the road is how is this going to differentiate in the caster combat such as a mage because i assume the wand and the staff are going to be in comparison to the longbow and the shortbow. Whereas I would bet the wand would be faster attacks like it was in Alpha 1. And the staff is going to be more of charging attacks and holding to deal more damage to the opponent. So I'm really curious on how they're going to distinguish these. I don't want the range melee combat and the caster combat to feel exactly the same. I want these classes to each feel unique in their own way. Even still so when you combine them and get the whole 64 class thing going like they still need to feel different so that's one of my things is how they're going to make it stand apart but overall the gameplay again i think it looks good 
But otherwise, yeah, the Ranger is really what I wanted to see from it. I feel like I can't wait to get my hands on it because I keep talking about the feel of it and I've said this before but you can't I can't actually tell you how it feels until I play it but looking at this video and looking at Steven play and run around and roll dodge around and shoot out some arrows and then roll and dodge around again and then blast out a quick shot and then gather up a bunch of enemies and jump in the air and do the aerial strike it just feels like what I want out of a ranger what I do want to see is, I know we haven't seen all of the combat yet. We've seen these basic weapon previews, and I'm curious where Intrepid's going to go with combat next. Are they going to show us support characters? Are they going to show us tanking characters? Or are they going to go into the next level and show us the more complicated side of the combat, such as weapon trees and skill trees and all of that? Because all of that other stuff is really going to tie into how this archetype actually feels in the end. What are your thoughts on the Ranger? Let me know what you think and how you would address this. I, get, I don't have much negative to say about this. I like what I saw on it again. So I want to know your thoughts, what you would change about what we saw, what you'd like to see. Do you like it at all? Do you hate it? What, do you, what are your thoughts on the Ranger? Drop a comment down below. And if you're new to Ashes and have yet to create an account, feel free to use my referral link in the description below where you can jump in on the forums or buy some cosmetics or just hang out and wait until Ashes of Creation finally comes out. Otherwise, be sure to hit that subscribe button, click that thumbs up, turn on the bell for notification, and stay tuned for a lot more to come.